Yeah, 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 What's up? What's poppin'? If this is your first time on my channel, you are most definitely welcome. If this is your re if this is your return visit, what's up? What's good? How you doing? So, as you guys can see, I am changing the scenery of my background. Well, okay, not changing the scenery, not changing the scenery, but like I'm flipping cuz usually when I film videos, I'm like actually facing the opposite way, so what you see is my window. So now I'm going to be not all the time, but at least like, you know, change it up so you don't have the same background. So today I'm going to talk about declaring pre-med. So you decided that you wanted to be a doctor. This is like the first step and this is the first video and I want to talk about some things to think about when you're first making the decision and saying, I want to be a pre-med. And ideally, you know, you're thinking about this as you start college. So I think in my experience, it was pretty standard to see basically like everyone in my class came in pre-med and like over the freshman year, people are like, oh, I'm not pre-med anymore. I'm not pre-med anymore. So like there's definitely this like peak freshman year time where everyone swears that they're going to be a doctor and everyone swears that they are pre-med. So of course, that is the time to plan and start your journey. So the first thing I would say is you need to be well informed. You need to understand what being pre-med means and like where you're trying to go. You need to have a vision. And like for me, because I knew I wanted to be a doctor and then the word pre-med was thrown around at Stanford and people said, oh, well, if you're pre-med, you need to take Chem 31 A and B. I didn't really do my research on what it meant to be pre-med and I just said, okay, I'm going to take this chemistry class because all the other pre-meds are doing that. I had no information. I didn't understand how to effectively plan out my course of study so that way I, you know, was working towards my goal of being a doctor. So go to the pre-med advisor's office, go to pre-health advising, talk to someone and say, hey, I'm considering this career path and I wanted to know more information about it. What are the things I need to do in college to build or prepare my medical school application? How do I go about this process? And usually pre-med advisors are the best place to start because they will give you like a general overview and they'll also be able to direct you to different resources and places to do X, Y, and Z. So like for example, assuming that I had went to a pre-med advisor my freshman year, I would have, you know, learned that, okay, in pre-med, if I want to be pre-med, there's a certain amount of classes I have to take. There are prerequisite classes I have to take before I'm even eligible to apply for medical school. Like I have to take chemistry, organic chemistry, biochemistry, all those kind of things. And I didn't have that big picture of like, okay, these are all the classes I need to take. I was just kind of living in the moment of like, everyone is taking 31 A and B, so I'm going to take 31 A and B. Okay, everyone is moving on to Chem 33, so I'm going to go on to Chem 33 and not really like seeing the big picture, not really understanding all the classes I needed to take so that I can plan and match and mix effectively. I think also going on YouTube, so like looking up videos that say pre-med guide or like, you know, things to do when you're pre-med and, you know, just kind of seeking information. And another website that I think is really good is, I think it's called Med School HQ or something like that. That's also a really good, you know, resource where you can read information, articles, and people giving ideas and saying all the things that like, um, you need to be thinking about if you're going into pre-med. The next thing is planning is key. You cannot just walk into college and say I'm pre-med and that's it. You need to plan because in at most schools, if not all, pre-med is not a major. It is like a track. It is a, you know, a, a journey that you're going through, right? You still have to complete your general requirements to get a degree. You still have to complete requirements to get a specific degree, you know? So like, like Stanford, they had like, um, they called it ways and think and thinking matters. They had these like core things that everyone no matter what major you are you have to take you have to take writing your freshman and sophomore year you have to take a year of a language class you have to you know take classes that force you formal reasoning or ethical reasoning or scientific query all these kind of things so it's important that you are taking into consideration the general requirements that you have to take you look at the potential majors you're thinking about majoring in because some majors you know will have um you have to take like 50 classes before you graduate or you have to do X, Y, and Z before you graduate. And it's important to take all those things into consideration when figuring out when to or how to integrate your pre-med track into getting a degree. Because pre-med is not a degree. It will not do anything for you. Pre-med is a track. 
So that was a quick, you know, snippet of, um, so that was, so that was a quick video on this concept of start of how of the starting point for if you're declaring that you are pre-med. This is your starting point. This is video number one, and this is where you need to start your thinking if you want to be a doctor. Please be sure to like. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe to your girl's channel. Thank you so much.